It's a bit like an alien inside a UFO putting its face on the spacecraft to introduce itself. News.com has learned about a discovery in the night sky over Chicago. A photographer says he noticed it shortly after sunset. Dietrich Ziegler reports he used a 70 to 200 mm lens to capture the moment. It was mostly purple on the left and green on the right, although it changed colors. The most striking thing about the image is what appears to be a face or a mask. It seems to have two eyes and a long beak, sitting stationary in the evening sky. Ziegler tells the Daily Mail of Britain that after he checked his first photos inside, he went back outside for more, but the image was gone. It's not clear when he took the photos. US Pentagon officials have no comment on the photo. But former British Defense Ministry employee and current UFO buff Nick Pope noted the camera doesn't always tell the whole story of these images. Distortions can occur for example when an object is photographed through glass, or when zooming in, or as a result of various anomalies and light effects relating to the camera, Pope explained. Another British UFO researcher took his own guess, saying the photo could reflect ice crystals in clouds. I've seen these ice crystals myself and they do look really spectacular, Philip Mantle said. UFOs have made national news in 2023, including a congressional hearing in July. They're also part of the defense spending bill which Congress approved in mid-December. A section of the bill calls on the National Archives to release any documents that pertain to unidentified anomalous phenomena, UAP, technologies of unknown origin and non-human intelligence, according to Space.com. But only documents created at least 25 years ago will be released. And President Biden has the right to keep some of them classified. This is a major, major win for government transparency, Senate Majority Leader Charles Schumer told the HuffPost website. But one UFO researcher said the original bill was much more transparent. It called for an independent Senate-confirmed review board with subpoena power, professional staff to search out records and other serious resources, Douglas Dean Johnson said. Some activists believe aerospace contractors persuaded lawmakers to weaken the bill because they're hiding proof of UFO research. Lights similar to what Ziegler recorded are the second most common WAP reported to the government. A late November report by the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office shows 30% of all WAP sightings involve lights of some sort. That's topped only by UFOs shaped like orbs or spheres, at 34%.